Hey guys and welcome back to another video and I hope you are all okay on that side of the screen. Now today I've got here with me the Xiaomi Mi Wi-Fi 4 router and honestly I'm impressed with the performance that it has, especially considering the price that it costs. Now starting with a very quick unboxing experience, it comes with a very simple package. Once we open we will find the router, the power adapter and also a quick user guide which is all in Chinese. And get used to this all in Chinese sentence because I will uh, say it's a couple more times during the video. Now in terms of the router itself, uh, I honestly like the design of the router. It's simple, it's nice looking. In terms of the plastic, it's nothing special but it doesn't feel that cheap as well. So I do believe that it looks nice on any place that we place it. So, and the most important to me in my particular case, it's the performance. But if I had to put it uh, on the living room or anywhere else, I wouldn't mind to see it. But this is something very personal. In terms of connectivity, we will find a input Ethernet connection, a gigabit Ethernet connection, then two outputs Ethernet uh, with gigabit speed, one reset switch and a power input jack, and that is it. Now moving to the setup, and here's the part of the Chinese again. I did start it with my iPhone uh, to start and setting up the device. And once I did download the app, it was in English, all okay, but at the half of the setup, it sent me to a Chinese web page, which makes things a little bit more difficult. Now I did get one of my Android phones, and what I did was to download the same app, and oddly on Android, everything went just smoothly, everything in English, so I could understand everything. And once I finished the setup, the router was ready to be used. So if you are one of those that just want to set it up and forget about it and use it, then everything is fine. On the other hand, for those that want to check out the dashboard with the options and so on and so forth, guess what? It's all in Chinese. Now I did open it up, I did check it out and search on the web to see if there was any firmware that I could update to English or Portuguese or whatever that I could understand. And so far, as far as my knowledge goes, there isn't. Now the only option that I could see was to use Google Translator, which works uh, fine, I would say fine, and it will translate the pages and we will understand what we are changing in terms of settings. And if we take a quick look at the dashboard, uh, it's actually not not that basic. So this router, not only the performance, but also the options that it gives us uh, are quite good, with the exception that it's all in Chinese. But that's another story. Uh, it's a downside, but a downside that we can pass using the Google Translator. And probably in the future, there will be any kind of firmware that will change to English. Now, moving on to the performance, which was the part that impressed me most. I did test it out everywhere that I could and started with my living room, where I did place the router just next to my furthest wall. I did start to test with the Ethernet cable on a gigabit connection and with no surprises here I was getting the maximum of my connection which is a 1000 megabits per second of downloads and 200 uploads having in mind uh, of the limitations of the computer which will never go to 1000 will go to 930 940 megabits per second on download now moving away from the Ethernet cable and testing out with the Wi-Fi connection just next to the router I was able to reach out 500 megabits per second on download and 200 on upload which is not bad at all. Now, when I did move backwards about four meters away from the router, I was getting still a really good performance, which was 430 megabits per second on download and 200 on upload, which was really, really nice. Then moving backwards on my living room, and we are talking about seven meters away from the router, I was still getting more or less the same performance there, which was 430 megabits per second on download and 200 on upload. And this honestly really surprised me because the performance on a clear area with no walls at all is just great. And by the way, I was always using the 5G connection that this router has. It has both 2G and uh, 5G and I was using the 5G. Now moving on on the same floor but uh, to the balcony where I also have a few walls in the middle then the speed did decrease uh, through off more or less. We are talking about 220 megabits per second of download and 170 on upload and I did a few more tests. I went to the kitchen and to the garage and so on and so forth but the results were roughly this. So on the same floor I would say that for any household this router will 
be a great choice if you are looking for a way, a cheap way in this particular case, to expand your Wi-Fi coverage. And this was a great news to me in terms of performance. Now, besides having tested on this floor, I also tested the upstairs floor and also the basement. And once I got to the first floor, the 5G connection just went completely dead. Uh, I did try it out and, and it showed that it had a good signal, but uh, it could not connect and I had a few issues. So connecting to the 2G connection on the first floor, I did get, as expecting, uh, a lower result. And we are talking about really low, 37 megabits per second on download and 8 on upload. And then I moved to the basement to see if there was any difference, but there wasn't. So I could not connect to the 5G connection once again. And on the 2G, I was able to get roughly 40 megabits per second on download and three on upload and that is it so in terms of conclusion what i can say about the xiaomi mi wi fi 4 is that for the price it gives a lot especially in terms of performance that situation of the chinese dashboards i do believe that it's easily passed using the google translator although it's not comfortable it's usable now once we have it set it up the performance gains that we have on one single floor especially when we have no walls at all is just great i've seen a lot more expensive with a lot less performance on the test that i've made in the past so this for the price that it costs it gives a great great performance on the same level on the same floor with no walls when we have a few walls we will lose the signal well not lose completely but we will as you've seen by the results will break a little bit and we were getting more or less half of the full potential that it will give in terms of wi-fi on the other hand if you are looking for a solution that will increase uh, the signal for a upper floor or down floor and this of course will depend on the house configuration mine is all concrete so it's more difficult to pass from one floor to the other but this was or could be the only reason that i would not suggest this router i would suggest another solution like a power line adapter that we have seen a lot here on the channel and i do use it for some areas of my house other than that guys this is a great option in my opinion of course i will leave a link down below so that you guys can check it out and that is it hopefully this video was helpful in some way and if it was don't forget that usual thumbs up my name is roberto george and as always i'll see you guys on the next one